NVIDIA holds more than 90% of the world's AI compute, and for years nothing could touch its grip. But suddenly, Elon Musk builds a supercomputer powered by over 200,000 NVIDIA GPUs in just 122 days. Now Jensen Huang warns, if Musk's plan works, every industry rule collapses. What is Musk really building? And why does it make even the king of AI so uneasy? By late 2025, NVIDIA stands alone at the summit of AI infrastructure. The company controls between 80 and 94% of the world's data center GPU market, a dominance so complete that even its closest competitors, AMD and Intel, are left with only single-digit shares. This is not just about chip shipments. NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture, its proprietary CUDA software ecosystem, and deep partnerships with every major cloud provider have created an environment where nearly every new AI breakthrough, every major model release, and every emerging startup depends on NVIDIA hardware to train and deploy their systems. Financial analysts estimate the global data center GPU market will reach $121.6 billion in 2025. NVIDIA captures the lion's share of that revenue, but the real power lies in the infrastructure moat it has built. Developers are locked into CUDA, hyperscalers commit billions in annual orders, and the company's chips set the pace for what is possible in AI. Even industry rivals acknowledge the gap. AMD's CEO publicly admits their market share remains in the low single digits, with hopes of reaching double digits years from now. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's founder and CEO, is acutely aware of this position. At CES 2025, he described the company's role as the backbone of the AI revolution, emphasizing that almost everything that Elon is part of, you really want to be part of as well. His words reflect both pride and calculation. NVIDIA's chips are not just components. They are the foundation of every major AI initiative, from autonomous vehicles to generative models and robotics. The scale is almost invisible to the end user, but unmistakable to those building the future. When a company holds more than nine out of every 10 slots in the world's AI data centers, it does not just set industry standards, it becomes the standard. This is the context for Jensen Huang's recent statements and the anxiety now rippling through the industry. NVIDIA's supremacy is not just a matter of market share, it is the bedrock on which the next era of AI is being constructed. In early 2024, a forgotten Electrolux factory in Memphis became the launchpad for a feat that stunned the technology world. Elon Musk's XAI team broke ground on Colossus, a supercomputer of unprecedented ambition. The project moved at a pace that defied every industry expectation, 122 days from abandoned shell to the world's largest AI cluster. By the time the last cable was connected, Colossus was alive with the power of 200,000 NVIDIA GPUs, a number so large it eclipsed the total compute of many national data centers. The numbers are almost hard to process. $10 billion in fresh funding, with $2 billion funneled straight from SpaceX, poured into the Memphis site. NVIDIA, seeing the scale of Musk's vision, invested another $2 billion of its own capital. The result was not just a supercomputer, but a gravitational center for the next era of artificial intelligence. What Colossus enabled became clear within weeks. In July 2024, XAI released Grok 4, a language model that scored 88.4% on the GPQA benchmark, a test designed to stump even the best PhD students. For context, the average doctoral candidate scores just 65%. Elon Musk did not hesitate to claim that Grok 4 had surpassed human experts in every academic field. This was not marketing bravado. Benchmark results circulated through the industry, and while critics pointed out that no test can capture the full messiness of real-world intelligence, the message was unmissable. Speed and scale had delivered a breakthrough that few thought possible. In less than half a year, Musk's team had rewritten the playbook. The industry watched as Colossus went from blueprint to benchmark in record time, powered by a mountain of GPUs and a torrent of capital. For Jensen Huang, watching from the summit of NVIDIA's own empire, this was proof. 
not just of Musk's ambition, but of his ability to bend reality to his will. Jensen Huang stood on the windswept concrete of Starbase, the Texas sky streaked with contrails from the 11th Starship test flight. In his hands, a black metal box, the NVIDIA DGX Spark, looked almost out of place among the towering boosters and scorched launch pads. But this was no ordinary delivery. Huang was not just dropping off hardware, he was handing over a petaflop of power in a desktop-sized machine, with 128 gigabytes of unified memory packed into something a single engineer could carry. The exchange was more than ceremonial. Nine years earlier, NVIDIA had launched the original DGX-1, a machine many in the industry had dismissed as overkill for anything but graphics and gaming. Now, with DGX Spark, Huang was making a bet that the future of AI would not be locked away in distant data centers, but would sit on the desks of the world's most ambitious builders. Musk accepted the system with a grin. Huang said the only regret he has about XAI is, I didn't give him more money. This was not a throwaway line. It was an admission that NVIDIA's fortunes were tied to Musk's vision, and that missing out on a bigger stake in XA, I felt like a rare miscalculation. The DGX Spark itself was a statement. Capable of running models with 200 billion parameters locally, it put supercomputer class AI within arm's reach of a single developer. For SpaceX, this meant trajectory optimization and autonomous docking models could be trained and tested without waiting for bandwidth or compute allocation from a remote cluster. Every millisecond mattered when rockets were in flight. The timing of the handoff, set against the backdrop of a Starship launch, underscored a deeper alignment. NVIDIA was no longer just a supplier. In this moment, Huang positioned himself as an enabler of Musk's next leap blurring the line between vendor and co-conspirator. The gesture did more than shift perceptions about the roles of each company. It opened the door to a new era where the tools for building the future were as close as the nearest workstation. Elon Musk's answer to the chip shortage isn't just another supplier contract. It's a blueprint for total control. The plan, known inside Tesla as TerraFab, calls for building the world's most advanced semiconductor factory not in Taiwan or South Korea, but on U.S. soil. This isn't a tweak to the supply chain. It's a direct challenge to decades of industry orthodoxy. Musk argues that even with both Samsung and TSMC running at full tilt, their combined output can't keep up with Tesla's projected hunger for AI chips. His solution is to go vertical, own the entire stack, and build a fab so large it could rival the combined capacity of several national foundries. The numbers border on the surreal. Industry analysts estimate that constructing a fab of this scale would require at least half a trillion dollars, an amount greater than the annual GDP of many countries. No car company, no tech giant, not even the world's largest chip makers have ever attempted something like this from scratch. The capital expense alone would dwarf Tesla's record-breaking investments in gigafactories, and the technical hurdles are even steeper. Chip fabrication isn't just engineering. As Jensen Huang warns, it's artistry. Every nanometer of progress demands armies of physicists, chemists, and process engineers, all orchestrating a dance of electrons and atoms at the edge of what's physically possible. The industry's alarm isn't about competition. It's about the ground shifting beneath their feet. If Musk pulls this off, the entire model of fabless chip design collapses. Companies like NVIDIA, which have thrived by designing chips and outsourcing their manufacture to Asian giants, could find themselves outflanked by a new breed of vertically integrated rivals. The balance of power between design and fabrication, between East and West, between supplier and customer, would be rewritten overnight. Huang's own caution is laced with respect. NVIDIA has already taken a strategic equity stake in XAI, hedging its bets against a future where the old supply certainties no longer apply. If TerraFab becomes real, every assumption about who controls the future of AI hardware goes up for grabs. Today, the world's AI future hinges on how fast innovation outpaces its own limits. As Musk and Huang redefine what is possible, 
Every breakthrough redraws the line between competition and collapse. The next industry leader will not just build hardware, they will decide who controls intelligence itself.